over by that scholar in that dream. Well, he's very good at manipulating the weaknesses of human nature, but perhaps he himself had fallen prisoner to them long ago. That dream was incredibly beautiful and enticing. Ordinary people couldn't see through it and easily lost themselves within it. But as long as you can still wake up, you can still move forward with your life. Huh? What makes you say that? Right! You said that you didn't understand human feelings, but we saw how considerate you were with all these people. Your speech just now really connected with everyone. You did a good job! <laughs> Thank you. I've heard a lot of sad stories along this journey, and several of them have touched my heart. You can't say that the victims of the dream really did anything wrong, and what they wanted was also not unreasonable. That's why I could understand them when they tried to resist us and protect the dream. But all of my understanding and stirred feelings probably can't even account for even 1% of the pain they've experienced. I don't think this 1% can be seen as an example of what you call empathy. You're too hard on yourself, that's for sure. <laughs> Alright. I suppose going out into the world will help my confidence grow. I've learned that emotions are nothing like knowledge, and that's why it's hard for me to put them into words sometimes. Benuni, or Mercedes, said that I had never personally felt the pain of loss. But I have a vague feeling that this isn't true. The moment I entered the dream, I felt like I was wrapped in a blanket of warm feelings. It was so warm that it felt like I had returned to the start of my life. And I didn't want to wake up anymore. But when I opened my eyes, the feeling was gone without a trace. If I have to make an analogy for it, I would say I can no longer see words on a piece of paper after they have been erased. But I can still see the slight indentations of where the words had been written. But now that I've experienced this dream, I think I can say with confidence that I won't dwell too much on the meaning of that warmth. It's enough that I can tell I was once supported by that warmth, and its existence has allowed me to get to where I am today. If I dwell too much on its exact nature, I would be putting the cart before the horse. I gave a speech to inspire my people, so if I were to fail to live up to those words myself, then that would be too embarrassing. <laughs> Like there's something you want to say. Is there anything you want to tell me? <laughs> okay. Since we just woke up, let's stretch a little bit. A new day is about to begin. 